CBR 250R is a brand new bike this year. Uh, the Canadian bikes are made in Thailand. Uh, there's two models that are available this year. There's a non-ABS and there's an ABS. There's also two colors that are available, red and black. It's uh, fuel injected, it's liquid cooled. The fit and finish is phenomenal. Uh, having the ABS brakes as, a, uh, as an option for the new rider is probably the best thing that Honda could have done. Uh, it makes an extremely safe bike to ride. Our shop sells a lot more of the ABS than the non-ABS, and I think it's because we're very much used to selling ABS bikes. Uh, the 2001 Goldwing uh, was introduced with ABS, and we sell a lot of those. And as a result, I think we're very strong proponents of the ABS system on the Honda bikes. I know Canada-wide there's been no more non-ABS sold, but out of this location, we definitely sell more ABS. It's a safer bike to ride. It's only $500 more for the ABS. Therefore, it's worth every penny of the $500. The maintenance schedule on this bike is very good. It's very maintenance friendly. Uh, basically, we recommend the first service done at 1,000 kilometers. Uh, you've got a brand new engine. It's nice to get the oil out of there and get fresh oil in. After that, it's every 3,500 to 5,000 kilometers. Keep the oil changed. Keep the chain lubricated and cleaned. Ride the bike and enjoy it. The first major service is 17 to 19,000 kilometers. So for the average rider that's going to ride this bike, that could be a year or two years riding before he has to do a major service. To be able to get some riding experience, ride for a year or two years or even more if they like. Uh, and then once they've got that experience, if they decide to move up, they can move up to the CBF 600, they can move up to the CBR 600. And what most dealerships do, they'll be happy to sell them this bike. And then when they're ready to move up, we'll take this bike back in on trade and move them up to something a little larger. But this way, they're going to be comfortable on the bike. They're going to have some riding experience. They're going to know what to expect when they're going down the road, and it'll make them a safer rider. It's a great entry-level bike. It's a great new rider bike for those people who want to get into the marketplace. It's under $5,000 in Canada, and uh, it's a way for them to get in, make sure they like the sport, get some inexpensive insurance and really become part of the motorcycle family.